To use the extrude object, you have to first create a spline. Let's create a flower, then create a extrude object, then put the flower as a child of the extrude. Select the extrude. The direction controls, now it's on auto, so it calculates the direction of the spline automatically. But sometimes the direction of the spline doesn't match the direction of the extrude. So, for example, when the flower, we I clicked on the flower. Uh, when the flower is not in the XY plane, it's in the ZY plane. Because it's it's uh, it's on auto, it figures it out automatically. But sometimes it doesn't, so you have to choose it manually. So you choose uh, the X on on the X axis. So extrudes on on the X axis. Let's put it back on the. X, Y, now you go to the extrude and choose the Z axis, which is the blue axis. The offset controls the depth of the extrude, how thick the extrude is. Subdivision, if you press NB to show the subdivision, controls how many subdivisions the objects the object has, which is which helps with bending which and uh, simulations, soft body simulations. Let's put it back, this original value. Get rid of the lines. Hierarchical uh, allows you to extrude more than one spline. So let's create another spline. Let's create an inside and move it over and put it as a child of the extrude, second child. You'll see nothing happens because the hierarchical option was not checked. Now if you check it, it'll extrude that object as well. 